Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing an I tried following a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial, the longest title ever. Um, I've been seeing these videos go around for a little bit, so now it's it's my turn. Hi. Well, she had 13 million views on this video. The makeup is extremely simple. It's easy. This is her makeup routine, but I think this was like one or two years ago. If she comes out with a 2018 one, you guys let me know because I would really love to see that. Like the way it came out, I think I pretty much nailed her look. It's really simple how she does it, and I actually learned some things from her in this video that I've never tried and I really like how it made my makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this look straight from Kylie Jenner, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Where's my finger going? Hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, oh, did, did you check out our new logo for the quad family? Right there, how do you like it? Let's get on with so it. I tried to get everything that Kylie used in her tutorial, but I'm missing a few things. I figured it's okay. The thing I'm missing here for her foundation is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done, which I know I have somewhere in my makeup collection. I just cannot find it to save my life. I'm gonna skip on that part and just use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD is what I'm seeing her hold in her snap. So she mixed them together and the Naked Skin One and Done is kind of like a, a medium coverage foundation. That must have been a lot of coverage that day for her. And she said she put it on lightly. So I'm just gonna go straight into the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I have my beauty blender. And by the way, this is a good foundation. I haven't used it in such a long time. I don't know why it's been a while, but I am in the shade Y315 and just start to work it onto my cheeks. Now she may have so much more coverage because she has the one and done mixed in there. So I just might need to pile it on today. But let's see how this foundation works by itself. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm not talking, I have to play music in the background. I love playing music and doing my makeup. So soothing and relaxing to me. So now I remember why I used to really like this foundation. It looks very natural. It looks like my skin, but 30 times better. Brow Wiz in Caramel. I don't have Brow Wiz. I'm totally out. Every time I have Brow Wiz, I'm usually done with Brow Wiz in about a month. It's super quick. I go through that pencil like water. The only one I have from Anastasia right now is the brow definer in chocolate. She doesn't show filling in her brows, but I'm gonna fill mine in. So let me go ahead and fill these guys in. But I'm just gonna take a look at her brows, like a real close look. She has like perfect brows. I'm just gonna try to mimic that somehow. Okay, so this area right here is pretty boxy. It's like more boxier than my natural brow is. So I'm gonna try to do that, but at the same time make it look as natural as possible. I said I wasn't gonna do her brow shape, but now I'm like trying to copy her brow shape exactly. They have a lot of natural hair. So this is kind of difficult for me to create on my natural bald brows. She has like the perfect shape, you guys. Just finished my brows. They actually don't look the same, but it's okay because my brows are not sisters. They're actually cousins. We are gonna move on to concealer. So I don't have the Becca concealer, but I try to find a paint pot, like a pot concealer. So I have this NARS one right here. She gets the concealer and she starts to carve out her brow in the front first, like so. And then she brings it down like this. This is exactly what I do. I haven't done this technique in such a long time. I kind of like that it really shows the shape. Brows are carved out and the next step is carving the top. But I think it was either a typo. It says using same foundation on top, but she's using the same brush. So what I'm gonna do, because I kind of agree with this, I don't know if it's a typo or not, but if she uses a foundation, it's more natural looking. So if you use that intense high coverage concealer on top, it may look not as natural and just really super popped out. I mean, you can blend it down, but I think it, it would look better with foundation. So I don't know if it was a typo or not, but I'm just gonna use a foundation. So I'm gonna take the Ultra HD foundation on this concealer brush. She's basically just cleaning up the front from what she's showing. So that's what I'm gonna do. And because I don't wanna look like one of those funny Instagram memes, I'm just gonna go right in the center just to make sure everything matches and soften it out with my beauty blender. Okay, so the next part for this Kylie Jenner tutorial is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. She puts life. Yes, I agree. This freaking powder is amazing. I feel like there's other powders that just came out that are just as good. But again, this is kind of an old video. So let's see what she does. Set that B. Okay, so she puts it all over her eyelid. I never thought about 
doing that. I usually use an eyeshadow, like a pressed eyeshadow to set my lid, but for some reason, I never thought of using this and I think it's a really good idea. I think I'm gonna steal this little tip from her. Okay, so it looks like she already has shadow on and I feel like it could be that original bronze palette, but because I've used Kylie's palettes in two of my previous videos, I'm gonna switch it up for you guys today. I'm gonna use this one from ColourPop. This one just came out. I just got the PR package. The palette is super cute. I feel like all of these colors is something that she would use, especially in this tutorial. So I'm gonna take this one. This is called Mo Problems. I'm gonna mix a little tiny bit of this. I'm gonna put that all over my lid just so I have a natural wash of color. I think that's pretty good. It's not like too intense. It looks like she has just like a natural wash of shadow. For her crease, it looks like she's using a very bronze, orange undertone kind of shadow. So I'm gonna choose this one here from the palette. You could really tell in the video that she's using a really light hand when she's doing her makeup, which lets me know that she definitely knows what she's doing because in order to have clean makeup, you need to use a soft hand. So I like that she's using a soft hand because you know that's one of my biggest things that I tell you guys, it comes out the best when you do. So a soft hand is basically, if you're new to my channel, is when you have a very light pressure on your brush and you're just letting it glide across your skin. You're not really pressing down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this crease right here. It looks like she took it out a little further, like right down to the end of her tail. So I'm gonna bring it down. Wow, do you guys see that dandruff? It's just out to say hi to everybody. So for the next part of the video, it looks like she is using a dome-shaped, dense kind of brush. It's basically the same shape. It looks like it might be the same density. So I'm gonna go with this one. And she just takes a darker brown. I'm gonna take Strike It and Fortune It. Work it on my eyelid. Seems to be starting like right in the center. And then trying to thicken it out towards the outer part of the eye. And just go back and forth. It's kind of thick. Thick. Bring it in like this. So the next step, she's showing the NARS concealer, and I believe she's using custard, it looks like, in the video. I'm using Canel. Canel is like my perfect shade. Okay, it already looks like she has concealer on, so I'm going to. Wow, look at these little baby hairs. It looks like she has it all underneath her eye, like this, kind of like in a angle very close to her eyelid so i'm gonna put it way up here and it's just like a tiny clip of her going back and forth and then the next clip she already has all the concealer in the right spots so i'm gonna look and i have it paused to where she's just like showing us she's basically her placement of her concealer so i'm just gonna look at it because it look i never put it there it's so crazy she puts it right in here crazy like a little hitler mustache and she also puts it on the center she dragged it all the way through the center it's just kind of like in there somewhere right yeah she puts it in there and then she draws it oh she does it all the way up here all the way but she does drag it out like right in here like on the side of her nose like right here she drags it out like this well, this is exactly how I like my concealer too, except for the this part, I don't, I don't know. Maybe to hide like the redness or broken capillaries or something. We'll see what her magic does to my face. Hopefully I look like Kylie by the end of this video. Okay, there we go. Okay, hers is actually a little bit more clean than mine, but you know, we try. And now she's just blending it in with her beauty blender and then it's all blended. Okay, so we're gonna blend it in with our beauty blender. Wetting her beauty blender so her baking doesn't look too cakey. So she just baked. Okay, so she skipped all the process, but we're gonna go ahead along with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just start to bake it up. She said not to let it sit for too long, so I'm gonna let it sit for like two seconds. Okay, so next she says fave powder Cruise showed me. I don't have that Chanel powder, but I do have a favorite powder foundation, kind of like the one, um, like the Chanel one. This has been my favorite go-to powder foundation, and I'm in the shade medium. She's just dusting it on with a brush, so I'm gonna take her brush, actually. This is the Kylie brush. 
So she's on her lower lash line. It looks like, like a bronzy color. So I'm gonna do the same. She has kind of a fatter brush. I'm gonna use the same thing I used for my crease. I'm gonna use it for my lower lash line. Now it looks like she's showing the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which I have right here. It's like an all-time favorite for a lot of people. Starting here on her cheekbone. Then she goes up around here. Okay, she does a like number three. So like that, and then right on the jaw. On to the next step in her tutorial, which is this Anastasia brow gel, which I don't have. It's a clear brow gel. So I just grabbed my clear brow gel from Hourglass. She just combs it up. Combs it through. Okay, now she's onto the blush. Now she's using a blush that I don't have. This one is from Sephora. It looks like a peach blush. One of my favorite, all-time favorite peach blushes is this one right here from Tarte. It's called Captivating. It's just the perfect peach blush that looks good on everyone's skin tone, no matter what color you are. Usually it looks pretty good. Pretty close in, oh my God. So I just realized she puts it really close to the nose and then brings it out, but really close to this area. So I'm gonna bring it in a little closer. I never really bring it in that close, but I feel like this gives you more of like a youthful look. Kind of reminds me of my Korean makeup versus American makeup. Now we're on to scares me every time. So, okay, it looks like she's using a gold eyelash curler. Curling my little baby hairs. Wow, her, did you see her lashes? Her lashes are so long. I'm going to cheat this one because my lashes are nothing like Kylie's. And if I wanna look somewhat similar, I'm gonna have to do some fake ones. So after the mascara, I'm gonna pop in just, you know, some lashes really quick and discreet. So for mascara, she uses a Lancome mascara. So I have this one right here. It's the only Lancome one I have. It's called Hypnos Drama. I'm gonna coat my lashes. So I'm wearing the Lily Lashes in Diamonds today. I think they're super natural, right? Okay, so we popped on some lashes. Now she's moving on to using a Sephora jumbo stick. I don't have that either. She uses a lot of Sephora makeup. That's crazy, I didn't realize that. Um, she did. Um, so I'm gonna take, my bad, just all these texts coming in at one time. I'm gonna go ahead and take something that's similar to that Sephora jumbo stick. This is the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Smog. It looks a little metallic-y from the cap in her video. And she said she likes it because it's like really soft. So I'm gonna take that on the inner waterline. Looks like she's using that right in there. Now she's using Candy K lip liner and she just fills in her entire lip. So I'm just gonna copy her. After she does her lip liner, she shows that she's wearing the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop from Becca and I have that right here. So I'm gonna jump into the highlight. In this next snap, she's just basically showing off how poppin' the highlight is. Then she jumps to the gloss. So I have the gloss right here, so I'm gonna top that off on top of Candy K. So I don't look like Kylie Jenner yet, but that's okay, because I think my makeup is pretty much on point to hers. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up, makes me really happy. And before I let you go, I just want you to remember that just because a little crack happens in your life, doesn't mean that the whole world is over. It just means that you learned from it, you're stronger, you're better. So I just wanna remind you about that. You know, I like to give you guys some tips, not just with makeup, but with life and everything in every way that I can help you, I wanna be there for you. So that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until the next, oh wait, 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 hold on, wait. Did you see that I had other videos over here? I have this one up here and this one down here. So I don't know if you checked those out yet, but this is my last video that I just did. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Don't miss out on that. And this is another video that you might like. So make sure you check it out and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys and...